welcome back to episode three of Sakura Succubus 2. Now, where we left off, we were just talking to Cosmos and what our future holds for us, and a lot's going on. And they're telling us to be weary of Hafumi, which, to be quite honest, I was already suspecting that from the dead ass beginning when we met her. So, yeah, I'm not really surprised. Uh, despite Cosmos' warning, the rest of my days pass without event. I don't see Hafumi for the whole evening. If Afumi does, does want to make me her slave, she sure is playing the long game. Does she really want that, though? It seems out of character, coming from such a mild-mannered woman. I can't imagine Afumi playing the role of a... De a demotar, demonatrix, excuse me. That role is far better suited for Marina. That was actually what I was about to say, but then she mentioned acting, and now I can kind of see it. Well, whenever Fumi has a dark side or not, it seems my time at this Roykin is will be more interesting than I anticipated. The following day passes quite like the previous one. I'm bruised by the smell of Fumi's wonderful cooking and eat a delicious breakfast prepared by her hands. Then I go for a walk, not like in not in the oh sorry not in the Roykin Gardens this time, but in this brawling countryside around it. I take photographs at my lectures using my phone and I deal the way the hours among the embrace of nature. Getting out of the city is sure as relaxing. The air is nice and clean and the sky is so blue. The weather has been great throughout my stay. I only hope it holds up. In a few days, I will have to go back to Tokyo. I doubt if I'll see Fumi again after that. If she does want to make me hers, she'll have to make a start of a nefarious plans. But I can't see that happening anytime soon. Are you and Cosmo paranoid? Being the youngest of the succubus clan, it makes sense they feel threatened by an older, beautiful, more experienced succubus. I guess they know if Fumi as well as they know Marina, so they're on their guard. Marina, for their part, seems pretty close to Fumi. She doesn't make any unpleasant insinuations about her character. It really is a mystery. That night, I decided to go for a dip in the hot springs. The hot, sp oh, the waters of the springs is nothing sorts of luxurious. But sure, it'll help me clear my head. I make my way to the changing room, my wooden sandals clacking against the tummy met hallway. Um, when I arrived, I stripped off my clothes and wore a towel around my waist. Then, I set off to my private mixed gender hot springs that Marina booked for us. This hot spring is secluded one is oh, sorry. This hot spring is a secluded one located in a brief walk away from a male and the female bass. It's a pleasant spot. Uh, the springs light with damp rocks, the air thick with steam. The water itself is clear and crystalline. I can see the moon reflect reflected in the surface and all the stars. <sighs> a cool breeze tugs at the tight towel and I shiver. All right, that's enough admiring scenery. If I don't step into this water, I'll catch a cold. I reach for the towel around my waist, ready to relinquish it. Oh my, I thought I would be alone out here. Who is this? Ah, a ting belt like voice make me grip my towel even tighter about me. There's somebody else in the spring? Judging by the tone of their voice, it's a woman. What? What? <sighs> Please do not tell me this bitch is in the same place as everyone else. Is everyone fucking here? I swear. Who is it? The voice does sound familiar, but I'm in such a panic state I can't even think who it might be. I'm a man at night intruding such a young upon a young woman, and we're all alone to sexual harassment charge in the making. I could say it was an accident, but who would believe me? I'm in hot spring there. N though, not literally, not yet. I, uh, I'm very sorry. 
I bowed deeply in the mysterious woman that can see me and then clutched my towel a bit tighter. If it was a you in Hot Springs, I wouldn't care about my nakedness, but I didn't want to strip off in front of a complete stranger. I would probably get going fast before I get accused of any suspect. But I'm not the one at fault here. This is a private hot spring. Marina booked it specifically for the four of us. There shouldn't be anybody else here. Unless she gave it to Hifumi. <sighs> oh, hang on. Go back a bit. Who's the mysterious person bathing in the springs? If only the steam wasn't so thick, I might be able to see them better. As if not, can make out a vague outline. Uh, I can see the curves of the smooth back, white as a pulsant in the long electrices. Could it be that voice which I which apologized just now? I believe it belongs to a man. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is quite a conundrum. Has a brigade come to steal my virtue? That would be quite unfortunate. Please, I beg of you, if you would wish you have a way with me, be so quickly, but do not prolong the torturous process. Now, what's this person babbling about? I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> We're like, what the fuck is she talking about? No, you've got the wrong idea. I have come to take advantage of you or anything. I'm just, I don't even know who you are. I thought this bath would be empty, I swear. This is all a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? A woman blinks through the fog at me. So you do not wish to embrace me? No, that's the last thing I want. I'm not a criminal. Oh, I see. Now that is a pity. How is it a pity? Shouldn't you be relieved? You're the one who's cried out as she just now. That's fucking Fumi G. I should have realized that it was her from the fucking start. But of course, women will be modest about these kind of things. It wouldn't be cry, take me, please. That's the first intruder that comes along. But engage me with the trist beneath the light of the moon with the mysterious assailant does sound somewhat romantic. It's like something of a, from a novel. A heavy sigh. Who is me? I'm so disappointed. Went through all this effort of coming here to this private spring and nobody might overhear my moans of passion. So she know she does know she's intruding. Was this calculated at the very beginning? Yet you do not wish to take advantage of me in the situation. What sort of man are you? Am I not attractive enough to light the tent delay within your breast? I can't really say. It's so steamy I can't see your face. And I cannot see yours. Step forth, please. So that I can see you more clearly. I would like to know what gentleman I am conversing who would have turned me down. I really don't think that's a good idea. I turn, ready to leave. Then the oh, it shakes the leaves of the... Ah, it's... Ah. <laughs> I turn, ready to leave, but... Then, <laughs> a cool gust of wind blows. It shakes the leaves on the trees and then furiously short towels the wounds around my waist. It parts the worst of the steam, too. Now I can finally see. The woman sitting in the hot springs is none other than... I fucking called it. I fucking called it. And you, you, you. Oh, you healthy, healthy, healthy bitch. Whoo, you playing. You playing. You are playing. <laughs> Mifumi? My, my. I knew it. Fumi smiles. She doesn't seem at all embarrassed about her early utterance. Neither does it seem like she's surprised to see me. Does she know I was here all along? I'm starting to wonder. Hey, Fumi, were you teasing me? Now, now, whatever gave you that idea? You are one of my dear fans. I am very appreciative towards you. I would never dream of making you feel uncomfortable. Or so she says, but her smile doesn't waver. Maybe Cosmos were right about her all along. She isn't to meet your elegant woman as she thought she was. Right, well, uh... I glance away from... Fumi. Awkwardly. It's hard to meet my idol in the eyes when she's wearing nothing more than a towel. I should probably go. I don't want to bother you. Oh no, don't leave. Though we are sharing the same lodging at the present, I'd be 
been so busy at attending to chores, I haven't had the chance to speak to you all day. That you found me quite by chance, I might add, must be the fate of way. It's saying we ought not to be parted. Would you care to sit with me and dip your feet in the warm water? This should help advocate the cold of this brisk tonight. Jeez, Fumi's style of talking is so fancy. She sounds like she came from a different era. Her Japanese is very refined and polite. <sighs> I could get swept up in this melodic cadence of her voice. Her offer sounds very tempting. I, I came to the spring so I can relax in the water, but will I really be able to relax with a Fumi by my side? Besides, something about Fumi's words doesn't seem quite right with me. You said our meeting was by chance. Who else would it be, otherwise than the whims of fate? This is to prove that we simply were meant to be together. <laughs> yeah, right. A succubi must have inserted themselves with one of the ordinary existence. But I still don't believe in fate. It's too vague and unscientific. Does it, didn't you just say that you came into the private house on purpose? Oh, did I? Yes, you did. You know you did. You said you came came here on purpose so that nobody could hear our all well. You should have known when you came out here this wasn't ve this wasn't the regular women's hot spring. <sighs> you were hoping to run into me, weren't you? You weren't hoping to run into me, were you? Hmm, now th this is a quite of the accusation. What what would you do if I answered the allegations in the positive? Would you be disappointed in me, Hiroki? Would you think helplessly wicked? Would you even stop being my fan? What? No, of course not. But you sound serious. You make me feel as though I've done something wrong. Technically, you did do something wrong. You're trespassing in some hot springs which Marina booked for us. But I wouldn't hold it against you. I want, I just want to know the truth. Did you really come here to meet me? My, my, you are the chef one, aren't you? Fumi laughs softly. Yes, that is right. I know full well that this house ring was a private one. I am trespassing, I'll admit. But I did so only because I wish to see your face once more. I felt like it's been so long since the last time we smoked. This <laughs> smoked. <laughs> I feel like it has been a long time since the last time we spoke. I missed you. You missed me? Yes, indeed. Now that is hard to peruse, and I can imagine the famous actress Yamato Fumi misses me. Saying that she went out of her way to speak to me, I never thought she stooped to this such Andrean method. She seems like a well-mannered woman. But maybe you was right about her. She's more deep than she looks. I'm flattered, but why would you miss me? I'm nothing special. Tut tut. She wags her finger in my direction. You might be astonished for lying, Hiroki. Astonish me for lying, but does that not give you credit to do so yourself? What do you mean? You mean that you're not being entirely truthful either? You're saying you're not special, but well, that's untruthful. That is blatantly falsehood. If you were not special, Marina would not take in such interest in you, nor Cosmos, nor AU. This fact alone makes me very curious about you. My sisters are awfully picky when it comes to men. It's rare that they all have an agreement in, on anything. Heh, <laughs> I can believe that. AU and Cosmos are always in one each other's throats often falls upon Marina to act as the adjective. They're all a succubi, but in terms of taste and personality, they're quite dissimilar. They all seem to love you, though. Cosmos and AU are particularly smitten. The way they fought over your effectiveness the night prior was quite the sight. I was surprised, but also impressed. Happy, too. I was pleased for Cosmos. She was always being so awkward, I feared she would never find a suitable partner. A you, too, can be quite difficult. She's bad at admiring her true feelings, and she's frightening people away. I've never, f 
I've never seen her care for anyone quite so blazingly before. Um, I feel like a proud sister. I'm glad my naughty si young siblings have grown up and discovered what love is. I thought to myself, but it made me want to know more about you too. If AU and Cosmos adore you, then you must be special. I had hoped we could speak more, but I must admit just how special you are. I see. I can understand Fumi's at least. Ah, I can understand Fumi's interests <sighs> at least, but now I'm beginning to worry if I'll disappoint her. Well, don't get your hopes up. I'm just an average guy. And you and Cosmos only took interest in, took an interest in me because Marina did, and Marina only likes me because of my smell. Ah, yes, your smell. Hiromi's eyes softened. I have not had the pleasure of con conversing with you as long as I have, but even if I, but even I have noticed your particular aroma. It came to me at the gust of the breeze during our first encounter, and I've been unable to think of little else since. You do smell wonderful, Rocky. Even more fragilent than the fair lilac. Well, uh, thanks. Since I'm a guy, I'm not used to being compared to a flower. That's not very manly. But I guess I'll take it. There's something I'm curious about, though. If you want to talk to me so badly, why didn't you approach me earlier? Wouldn't that have been easier than waiting in this hot spring, hopping, hoping I'd come along? There's no guarantee I would have come here today. Come to it tonight. I suppose not, but I thought this was my best option. I truly have been busy working on this, um, Rogan. <clears throat> I have a little free time during the day to spare. Not that I much that I mind much. I enjoy good, honest work, and I particularly like employing my hands. Cooking and cleaning makes me happy. I don't have much time to spare you. Intriguing, though. I thought to you. This isn't all much of a reason to speak to me directly, but directness is far too harsh. It would remove the romance from our encounters. For true understanding to blossom, um, it must be done by chance beneath the light of a moon. That's how all love stories start. Of course she fucking does. <gasps> that, that makes so much sense. In movies, maybe. But movies are all I know. I've been an actress for over a decade, and I know, and I know how tales between men and women should unfold. Women who, to forthright, are considered unladylike. If I wanted to maintain my apparel, I cannot afford to chase you down. All of my time spent amongst you humans has taught me that women should be meek, shy, and graceful. I have attempted to cultivate that image as best I could. A lady could not seek to look desperate. It simply does not do. Hmm, so that's why you wanted our meaning to look like an accident. Yes, indeed. I'm glad you have grasped it so simply, Hiroki. Ifumi's smile is light and refreshing, but it does does a little to ease my headache. What a convolting way to go about things. <sighs> I think Ifumi's idea of how women should act is a bit dated. Men might, might have preferred shy passive flowers in the past, but it's the 21st century now. Girls like Cosmos who post half-naked photos of themselves online are all the rage, not to mention the bubbly idols like AU. In the future, could you be, be directly when you want to talk? It makes things a lot more easier. You would prefer that? I fear that you, it would ruin some of my charm. But if that's what you like, I shall do my best. Right. Thanks. I glad things 
has been more or less cleared up, but speaking of being meek and shy, you weren't exactly mild when I first stumbled upon you. You practically begged me to ravish you. I did? You know you did. Now that is funny. Mifumi presses a finger against her lower lip. I'm sorry, but I can't quite recall saying anything of the sort. Sure you can't. I have a sigh. Mifumi can't be modest if she makes out. If she was, she wouldn't converse by, to me by a hot spring of all places. This woman is full of contradictions. Her true nature might be even harder to grasp than they use. At least they use it just a tsundere. That's a simple trope I can understand. What about Hifumi, though? Is she trying to mess with my head on purpose? Oh, whatever. If you really can't remember what she said, like, five seconds ago, which I had very much in doubt, then I'll guess I'll let it slide. Oh, we're we gonna drop the subject just like that? Isn't that what you wanted? I have hoped you might probe a little deeper, yes. Something about the word probe makes my face flush. It comes loaded with a lot of connotations. I try to appear graceful and dignified as a proper lady should. But I am not a normal woman. My father was a Japanese man, but my mom was a second place. Mm. Like the rest of my sisters, I pray to the on the honor of humans. That is what I really am. I act during my movies, yes. But I am all, I always I'm always acting during my day-to-day -day life among you humans too. My fans want me to be a meek, mild, submissive beauty. I do my best to appraise that and I it can get get stifling. Sometimes I need a lot of steam. No, we're in the mountains. There's no one else to know, it's just me and you. Now why don't you answer my expectations? Come into this for me. I can warm you up. Think of it as a reward being such a loyal fan of mine. You get to know you better. I want to get. I want to get to know you like my sisters. Can I not? This is no good. Are you not interested? No. That isn't it. That is not at all. Still your fan. You fans. I love you. Well, that is a release. How is it going to worry? Then why did you hesitate? Where did you come from? I, uh, I would love to follow her. But a you and Cosmos warning still rings in my ears. They said she would make me her slave. Just how true is that statement? Is Hafumi really dangerous? I don't know, but part of me worries. If I step into that water, my life will change for good. As if I stand on the edge of hot water pondering, I hear a loud, angry cry, then the slapping of feet. Somebody's coming closer. Why you? Get away from my visits, you harlot. Oh my, my, my. Yeah. Fumi ski squeals acutely, her indigo eyes wide as a force of nature descends upon her. It says force of nature comes into the fourth of a young 20 something year old woman. <laughs> no shit. Um, Recipient in slender sins, orange tails and a fearsome scowl. Of course, it's none other than a you. Hifumi blinks at a you acutely. One hand pressed against her cheek. Uh, she looks stunned as she might. Ayu's back is turned on, turned to me, but I can see her face in profile, uh, so I can make out some of her expression. Her eyes are narrow and her brows are furrowed. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say she looks pissed. Supremely pissed, in fact. Here's a random aside for you. When I was back in elementary school, we studied volcanoes. Our teacher even let us make our own volcanoes with paper mache and baking soda and vinegar. When the vinegar acts to the baking soda, the chemical concoction excuse me, bubbles up and it erupts explosively on the side of the DIY volcano. 
Why am I bringing this up to you, you might ask? Well, it reminds me of those volcanoes. She might blow a gasket. How can one small skinny girl contain so much hate and rage within her body? It shouldn't be possible. Scientists all over the world are baffled. Hey, Ayu, I'm glad to see you, but this is quite sudden. Why are you glaring at me like that? You make me feel as if there's something wrong. You have done something wrong, you two-faced witch. Oh my. And Fumi purr her lips together. Are you not aware that I'm your elder? You should show me respect as you do the Marine. And whoever, whoever said I respect her, ha. Huh. And you spits in the fucking hot spring. You're not, I'm sure that's unhygienic, but I don't bring it up. There's more important matters at hand. Such a teensy tiny fact that AU looks like she's going to murder Fumi. I don't respect Marina, and I don't respect you even less. You might be older than me, but that doesn't make you smarter. And it certainly doesn't make you a better person. How could you do something so awful? How could you? Forgive me for my ignorance, but I'm not sure what it is exactly that you're accusing me of. Would you mind explaining to me simply so that I might understand? You know precisely what you're doing. Don't play dumb with me. You tried to seduce Hiroki as I told you not to. How dare you try and steal my producer under my nose? You might be older than me, but that doesn't give you the right to take everything I hold dear like it belongs to you, damn it. I watch a you and Hifumi's little disagreement, as if you could call it that, play out from a safe distance. I haven't taken a single step in the hot spring yet. I'm still standing on the bank, dry as a bone. The wall looks incredibly inviting. But the bickering sisters, not that they were sisters, are putting me off. Huh. Aside. I came all this way to the countryside so I can relax, but this scene is the exact opposite of relaxing. <sighs> I really want, I don't really want to get embroiled in an argument. Well, um, I guess you can, you two can call me if you need me. You know where my room is. Have fun and uh, try not to get too carried away. I sincerely hope, hope AU doesn't try to drown Hafumi. That wouldn't kill her, would it? Being a succubus. She's sturdier than most humans, but succubus still need to eat and drink. I, I presume they also need to breathe. Let's pray this story doesn't turn into a murder mystery. Just uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do, okay? Don't play too. And it's if one of you does die, I prefer it will happen in a way that doesn't incriminate me. In fact, if anybody acts, I wasn't even here. This isn't my problem. <laughs> Bye! Though I am the cause of this chaos, Hifumi and AU doesn't bother to look at me. They're far too wrapped up in one another. Grr, you stupid bimbo. That's a mean thing to say. But if you bring it to closer, I care not what you call me. If this is the way you, your way of balding AU, I shall accept it. I'm glad you're opening up to me a bit more. <laughs> Stop laughing, you creep. This isn't funny. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna seriously kill you. Ah, seriously, love. I never know it to be this so intense. Your feelings for me have been so hurt. And you accept them all, no matter how forbidden they might be. Society might look down upon your love, but I shall. I never shall. What are you bothering on about? I don't love you, you idiot. Why? Why don't you drop dead? Yeah, given the circumstances, hightail, it's really is, hightailing it is, is out of here, really is the best course of action. Yeah, I can agree. These women are way too much for me to handle. After the, after extricating myself from Hifumi and AU's highly intellectual debate, I returned to my room. As I was unable to take a dip in a hot spring, I have... I instead have a warm shower and then change into my night clothes. I turned off my light and then curled up beneath my futon, utterly exhausted. Then I fall asleep the moment 
my head hits the pillow. Well, that is all for this time, everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys want to see more of these videos, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. That really appreciates this. Also, if you want to see more, make sure to tell me in the comments. I really appreciate it. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to join the Iron High. Today has been Zed, guys. Later.